What looks like a disaster may, in fact, be grace. What looks like the end may be the beginning. My hope is that this encourages someone, especially if you're in the middle of going through a hard, hard time and you're confused and you're like, God, why is this happening? Like, you know. Hey you guys, thank you so much for pressing play. This is my second video in one week, you guys. Who am I? It was hard for me to post one video in like a month. And now it's just like God is doing something in my heart and I just been so excited to just post. And so, yes. Really quick, if you hear little footsteps walking around, it's my dog Banks. If you wanna see him up close and personal, watch the last video. He keeps walking around back and forth, so yeah. That's my little disclaimer. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, my name is Bridget. My goal with this channel is to just encourage even if it's just one person. I do this by sharing my life, sharing what's on my heart, sharing how God is growing me and things that I'm learning. And so yeah, if that interests you, definitely press the subscribe button. And so yeah, to stay up to date, press that notification button. So in today's video, my hope is that this encourages someone, especially if you're in the middle of going through a hard, hard time and you're confused and you're like, God, why is this happening? Like, I just pray that this blesses you. Before we read the whole Devo though, I want to read this little snippet. The hardest things in your life become the sweetest tools of grace in his wise and loving hands. Your father is committed to taking what seems so bad and turning it into something that is very, very good. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, so we are reading this devotional. It is by a man named Paul Tripp. His website is paultripp.com. I've read books by him, the way he writes and just his heart behind it. Um, it really blesses me. And so I pray that this would bless you too. So this was posted actually a couple days ago, March 27, 2024. It's called Bad Fridays and Good Sundays. There's a famous Good Friday message preached by S.M. Lockridge, who pastored Calvary Baptist Church in San Diego from the 1950s until the 1990s. He went home to be with the Lord in 2000. The stirring meditation follows this cadence. It's Friday, but Sunday is coming. Here's an excerpt. It's Friday. The disciples are running like sheep without a shepherd. Mary's crying. Peter is denying, but they don't know that Sundays are coming. It's Friday. The Romans beat my Jesus. They roll him in scarlet. They crown him with thorns, but they don't know that Sunday's coming. It's Friday. See Jesus walking to Calvary, his blood dripping, his body stumbling, and his spirit's burdens. But you see, it's only Friday, Sunday's coming. More recently, the Christian singer, songwriter, Wickham released a similar song, Sunday is coming. The refrain repeats this simple yet life-changing line, Friday's good, cause Sunday is coming. As we approach Good Friday and Easter Sunday, it is important to remember that at the center of a biblical worldview is this radical recognition. The most horrible thing that ever happened was the most wonderful thing that ever happened. In God's righteous and wise plan, this dark and disastrous moment, the crucifixion of Christ, was ordained to be the moment that would fix all the dark and disastrous things that sin had done to the world. This seemingly hopeless moment of death was at the same time a moment of life when eternal hope was given. So be careful how you make sense of your life. What looks like a disaster may, in fact, be grace. What looks like the end may be the beginning. The same God who planned that the worst thing would be the best thing is your father. He rules over every moment in your life and in powerful grace, he can do for you just what he did in redemptive history. He takes the disasters in your life and makes them tools of redemption. He takes your failure and employs it as a tool of grace. He uses the death of the fallen world to motivate you to reach out for life. 
The hardest things in your life become the sweetest tools of grace in his wise and loving hands. Your father is committed to taking what seems so bad and turning it into something that is very, very good. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with mighty works and wonders and signs that God did through him in your midst. As you yourselves know, this Jesus, delivered up according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men. God raised him up, loosing the pangs of death because it was not possible for him to be held by it. The good days are a gift of love from the hands of the one who is wisdom. The bad days are a gift of wisdom from the hands of one who is love. The comfortable and the uncomfortable are equally efficient tools of divine grace. What is comfortable changes my heart, reminding me to focus the eyes of my heart on the faithfulness, the tenderness, the kindness of the Father's heart. What is uncomfortable empowers my heart to remember the zeal, the transformative power, the inexhaustibility, my constant need of the Savior's grace. When you bless me with what is comfortable, you are loving, you are righteous, you are faithful, you are good. When you lead me through what is uncomfortable, you are loving, you are righteous, you are faithful, you are good. So I will not restrict my worship to the good days. I will not limit my gratitude to what is comfortable. I will not curse the bad days, questioning your faithfulness and love. In darkness and in light, I will worship you. I will rest in your will. May your mercy empower me to remember my hope, rest, and surety is the same on the good day and on the bad because my hope, rest, and surety is in you. And then it closes with a prayer, a prayer for today. Father, help me to see and trust that the difficult and seemingly terrible things in my life are ruled over by you. Help me to walk by faith and believe that the bitter things in my life can be made sweet by your powerful and loving hand. Even though I may not understand now, would you give me the grace to rely on your faithfulness when nothing in my life makes sense? I trust you when life is going great. Now please help me to trust you when life seems to be a mess. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys, this blessed me so much because it's just a beautiful reminder of who God is, even in the midst of our trials. Sometimes life just gets hard things happen even out of our control and it's just like but god why like why are you allowing this to happen right i think of um if anybody is struggling with infertility which i know i can relate to it's almost like but god you can bless us at any moment you have control over our womb right why is this happening or i think of someone who might have cancer right God, but why? Or someone who has an illness or a sickness or someone who lost a family member. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe something is happening in your marriage or a relationship or something like that. And you're just like, God, but why? I just want to remind you of what the author said when he said, the hardest things in your life become the sweetest tools of grace in his wise and loving hands. Your father is committed to taking what seems so bad and turning it into something that is very, very good. May your mercy empower me to remember my hope, rest, and surety is the same on the good day and on the bad because my hope, rest, and surety is in you. You guys, we have a sovereign God, right? Um, who, if you have put your trust in him, the Bible says in Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for good for those that love God. If you love God, if you love Jesus, then you know that all things are working together for good. Sometimes we don't understand it, but we will understand it one day. Maybe 10 years down the line, maybe next year, you'll look back and you'll say, wow, that happened because of that. Maybe when we die and are in heaven, then we'll fully see all of why things happen, right? We don't always know why in the moment, but 
we just have to trust and believe things have happened in my life and i would be like but why right but i've seen over time why certain things had to happen and so yeah i pray that this blesses you you guys just like it has really blessed me Whew, it really really blessed me um and so i'm gonna post this article underneath the video because he also asks really great reflection questions and so i pray that that blesses you in some way too and so yeah you guys thank you so much for pressing play